All right. All right. You good to go? Yep. All right. Load. Yes. Okay. We're back again. We are cursed. I'm exhausted. Yes, this, this, play, this playthrough this is cursed. The last 48 hours. <laughs> so, you know, we've, we've we've lost some footage again. Instead of this time being, you know, 10, 15 minutes before before one of us noticed that, oh, the, the footage isn't behaving. It's instead closer to two hours worth of footage that we've lost. Yeah. So, we're going to have... Forgive us if our reactions aren't neutral, but I wasn't you paying know. much attention anyway, so it's all fine. <laughs> oh, Simeon. Uh, meanwhile, Anyways. we get to, Simeon self get to witness walking. Simeon being a weirdo. Yep. Though he no, no, he got cock-blocked by the, by the bell, but... Yeah, but then it was a case of... <laughs> Simeon was just being... So he could have... Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. That's okay. Are you sure? Are you sure it's okay? Okay, that's recording, and that... Yeah. Yep, just, just double-checking. It is actually recording this time. Everything, everything is recording according to what everything's telling me. But this has happened before, and it hasn't recorded. <laughs> I swear to God. OBS, like, <laughs> it has a vendetta against this game. Oh, it must. It's, seriously, everything else I've tried to record over the last year has been... Oh, that's right. Because I fucked it up. Because I didn't hit something. No, OBS just <laughs> doesn't like this game. Ugh. So, Simeon was addicted to Slavia whilst she was rambling on about her life. I remember we made a comp point of commenting about how... Yep. That may not have been in Semyon's best interests. And then we get to see uh, Olga Dmitrievna be super pissed, for obvious reasons. Yeah. We bailed. <sighs> we bailed on, bailed on cleaning duty. Like, good good pioneers. Oh, yeah. We're one and then something pioneers. interesting happens. Uh, Semyon's just like, help! Help, help, and Slavia. He's a bloody possum caught in the headlights right now. Yep, and Slavia throws herself preemptively under the bus. Which is... Wow, it was surprising. It was very surprising actually the first time because... It, it was surprising. Yeah. Not surprising the second time around. <laughs> I'm hoping, yes. Yeah, seriously, so far, it's like she's the one who I'd expect to get the most annoyed at us for skipping out. Yet she was just like, nah, it's good for it. And then, and then something very interesting happens, you know. She says, you're not getting any better. Fuck you. A, a protest which seems futile, but then, dot, dot, dot. I said dot, 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 dramatically. <laughs> I said dot. <laughs> God damn it! This time, but <laughs> just a little bit this time there. <sighs> Honestly. Yeah. No, maybe you shouldn't chase around people and destroy. And then suddenly, here we go. This is what I was. This is what I was trying to dramatically say. Uh, uh, forgive him. Help Dmitrievna just thanks. It over. Just goes. Okay. Yeah, that's probably the most surprising... After she internalized a really complicated situation in her head. I don't know, I, that's... As much as the, that's very much her character, where... If you just outright just dictate how something's gonna go, she gives up. But that's really the first time we see someone who isn't us... Mm. ...doing that. Because mm. in a couple of the other yeah. lines, we do just go no and don't do it and she's like okay <laughs> but that's the first that's time right. i think we get a npc do it, it yeah i know what you mean and then we get to see the human thumb and the troll face with blue hair on the back <laughs> back right yep yep 
human thumb <laughs> and the blue haired one, which is now behind electronic. Or is that shirk? Maybe I'll have time to zip on them in editing. Here's hoping you remember. But yes, <laughs> after saving our asses, Slavia just goes, all right, I'm, I'm bailing, fuck this. <clears throat> and we get to we get to have some epic bants with the lads. Hmm. It's epic, all right. It's an interesting way of wording it, though, that the, the electronic brothers are his primary source of positive emotions. Which is just like... What, what is... what is... is this a... I don't know. I don't know. But I do like that theory, it's like, hey, let's get some good banter going. Shut up, don't talk about it. <laughs> like, within, like, a breath, he instantly goes from being, yeah, someone to talk to, to no. <laughs> Like, uh, Simeon, just make your mind up, mate. Come on. Yeah. Or at least don't get yourself into a situation where you have to backtrack on what you just said so easily. I'm still yawning a bunch. Oh, you're always yawning a bunch, though. Ugh. I'm on holiday at the moment. I shouldn't be that tired. I am anyway, because, you know, tiredness is just the way of existence for me now. You seem to get an alright amount of sleep regardless, like, yeah, you I don't get some. No, I, I get like, I get like, you know, 10 to 11 hours of sleep a night when I'm not, if I like, don't worry about waking up in the morning, like if I, mm. if, if I don't set an alarm, you know, I have a, a sleep schedule of it for anywhere between 9 and 11 hours of sleep a night, I still feel lethargic. Maybe it's my diet. Maybe Meanwhile, you and sleep, I remember you talking about how you managed to once fall asleep standing up. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think, yeah, there was that one time I was, uh, I think I did, I was doing army experience, and on the last day I was that tired that I fell asleep standing up. <laughs> Good job, mate. <laughs> I think my original was telling you that story was a little bit better than that one. But <laughs> Just a bit. <laughs> Just I remember it involved bit. someone pissing themselves laughing. Yeah, the CO. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, in the background, Simeon's telling, uh, telling yeah. the Electronic the, uh, Brothers to uh, take their robot to the dance, because it'd totally work. And they've completely missed the joke intended there, and legitimately thought that they should actually show off their robot. To be fair, they don't exactly seem the, seem like the type to be taking jokes like that. They, they, they do seem like the type to take that sort of shit far too seriously. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Though this is one thing I found a bit interesting about the scene on the original one was that it was a case of I don't remember this taking as this, long in the other lines. Yeah, and you don't remember this specific scene occurring late at night, or later at night. Yeah, I remember this whole scene happening <clears throat> while lunch, while dinner was still in progress with the rest of the students around. But mm, in this indeed. Case, this is definitely a lot later in the evening. Maybe there's some, some kind of thematic significance that will later be revealed. Maybe, maybe. And his, uh... Damn, I have no clothes apart from Russian winter jackets. Oh, that'll be fine. Just just show up in like show up in like a fucking ski jacket. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much what he describes himself as wearing though when he originally initially arrives here pretty much. Yeah. More well, yawns cuz I'm a professional. Indeed. But yes, he's having he's having the little kitty's first dance. Again, Nervousness. You were lying if you did not have this prior. Like, when you knew this was coming up and no one had asked you, no one had really brought up going with them, even if it was just as friends or with your mates or something, everyone has this and everyone's like, I'm not jealous, I'm not envious. I just remember not really giving a shit about the dances. Mm. 
in my year, final year of high school, I went to this. I went to the you know the end of your ball, but I ended up serving drinks, which was. You brought that up, but you very quickly ended that. In the yeah, there, there was a biggest. There's a bigger story to that that I'm probably not that willing to have have spread uh, over the entire internet. Fair that's enough, that's what fair it was. Enough. Tell you in private someday, perhaps. Someday, perhaps. If you're interested. Ah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. And he decides to fall asleep. In the middle of the day. Well, which is well, never a good idea. No, it's not even... The, I don't know. If I'm going to go to sleep, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not going to just take a nap. Unless I am really that tired. Yeah, well, I mean, I remember... If I'm that tired, just, I'm probably going to sleep through anyway. Yeah. I remember last week, though, I had something similar happen. I was lying in bed reading, and I just fell asleep on my bed. And when I woke up again, I was just so entirely out, out of it. It was kind of crazy. Mm. And it was just like, what? What year is this? What, how long have I been out? What happened? What? Yeah. I find sort of. it, I find it strangely disorienting to go to bed and not have some idea of what the time is when I go to sleep. Yeah, I always, it's like, you wake up and it's like, hmm, and you're not quite certain when you went to bed, you don't have it, so that, that means when you wake up and it's no alarm or no anything, you're just like, how much sleep have I had? Am I, am I going to be alert and awake today or am I just going to be a zombie? Who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Uh, and he's chosen the uh, classical find a corner and hide option but as we know there are the girls here won't let him do that pretty sure this was meant to like keep order maybe he'll just sit and point okay uh just just click see what happens uh, click 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 yes my uh perfect i was about to say you, did, did you did you did your game just did your game just crash <laughs> You know that what, it might you. have, but, you know, now it's working, so. And Ulana's the first, like, <laughs> starts, yeah. And, and we just stonewall him. No, he's, he's not even stonewall, he's just rude. Not an uncommon theme over the course of the night, though. Yeah, even then, it's just like, yes, yes, no shit, Sherlock. Like, but still, it's just like, he's rude, like, Dude. Why are you gonna be so rude? I don't know how the rest of the song goes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yes, because my, uh, my uh, singing voice is so amazingly accurate. We'll have copyright strikes against us, clearly. I, I don't know, this is... One thing is, like, I get the not liking these events, but... This is one thing I noticed in the original playthrough that he just comes across as like unpleasantly rude throughout this entire event, and I really don't know why. It's because he's an asshole, clearly. Yes, he. We we know that he is on that side of things, but even then, seriously, the way he just completely is like nah to Ulana, and then even when Slavia is just like hey. Do, you're all good? He's just like, fine, don't want to dance. Yes. And now we get to see him be mean to the, uh, another girl again. Hmm. And this time he's internalizing being rude, as well as just being rude. He's being rude internally and externally. And it's just like... And I remember you commenting about how he said, ah, uh, how he asked uh, that they were going to light the party up and how this uh. might <laughs> apply poorly to other purple-haired visual novel, I don't know, girls, I guess, is the wor best word yeah. for it. Oh, yeah, definitely, though. I'm, well, I'm trying to just be a bit... I'm trying to, once again, just not just... I'm trying to not repeat what I've already said, especially in the non... Like, some of the jokes, because they kind of fall flat when both parties know what they are, I find. <laughs> yes, and, but all well, I mean, the viewers don't know the joke. 
topics we made. I don't know the joke, but unfortunately they're going to miss it this time. <laughs> well, they'll just have to say they'll just have to settle for knowing we were the funniest people in existence for those oh, two yeah, hours. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> and of course, Eliana's arguing with the arguing with the DJ. I'm a little bit softer to what Russian music I usually listen to, but it's not exactly a rave either, is it? <laughs> Pretty standard for these type of things, this at least genre of music, even if it's not as specific Russian or Soviet pop classics. Yeah. Land is just like, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, everyone, need, every party needs someone like this to just spark things. Oh yeah, definitely. If no one, every party needed Milana. <laughs> Uh, last week I was actually, I actually spent the week up a mountain skiing. I remember yeah, one night, right, I, worked. I was about to say, I remember one night some, uh, some of the people had, uh, had their, uh, cars broken into, so they had to go down to the car park, which, which, which is a, a 45 minute walk at the ski field I was at. And so, you know, being students, they took a bag of goon, which is, for those who don't know, ah. is a b bag of boxed wine without the box. They, yes, they, but yes, they took a bag of goon as their hydration for the walk <laughs> down to the cars and back up again. And when they came back, I think there was about two or three of them had polished off the goon between them and just... Up to that point, everything had just been quiet and laid back, but as soon as they arrived back, everything just like went off. People were partying. Partying oh, hard. I must admit, this soft. I can do a goon bag on my own. <laughs> Like goon bags, it wasn't the only alcohol them. they consumed. Well, that's a gift. <laughs> but I'd expect each of them to have a goon bag, though. <laughs> <It's> New Zealand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying reinflating the goon, ba uh, yeah, goon you bag was. Yeah, uh, the goon bag just so it's nearly um, completely full. You can use it as an impromptu pillow at the end of the night. Yeah, I was about to say, that's, that's not an uncommon thing to do. <laughs> it's so much better than the ground. Uh, and now we have Slavia back again. Really Do we not want to dance? To try get us to be a bit more cheery. Mm -hmm. But once again, Simeon has just been rude. No, fuck you, go away. And, now he's and then he's go going, damn, what am I even doing here? Dude, you're getting hit on by... Or well, you're, like, you're, you're having people offer attractive women. To off offer to dance with you, mate, and you're just going, Damn, what am I even doing here? Seriously, Ulana was seriously just like, Come have fun. Slavia and Vina. Slavia as something a little bit more than that. And Lena probably just like wanting someone that she's not entirely unconfident around to just be around and not make you feel so alone. And then he just goes and is just like, YOLO. <laughs> That's clearly his mindset. <laughs> he's, he's totally the type of guy to unironically say, Oh yeah, YOLO! Yeah, Start no, he's just like, I want my hole in the wall. <laughs> I, I empathize with Mr. Semyon though. He wants to go hide in a hole. <laughs> But the music has stopped. Dun dun dun. Don't panic. DJ Dimitri is quickly sorting the situation. Saying, don't panic, otherwise you'd have panic at the disco. No, no response. That wasn't even good the first time around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and d d didn't even roar into response the second go around. <laughs> You shouldn't refuse a girl, Simeon. You know, you know, apart from the first three times you refused them. <laughs> <laughs> Almost four. Yeah. No, no, four times, because doesn't Ulana come back? Actually, that's true, yeah. Yeah. 
Way to way way to go way to uh, take your advice there. <laughs> on your Simeon. Yeah. This is actually a really nice scene. <laughs> uh, not sure where to look. That then would be a good option. Yeah. But Simeon's too beta for that. Didn't want to let this girl go, and I'm ready to dance with her forever. I remember commenting about how I have a person in my life I'd say the same about. Got a bit sappy. Yeah, Uliana's being absolute yeah. madman. Uliana, yeah, that's what I said. It's like, it's like, what the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> uh, everything's fine. I mean, everything's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Don't know why I just adopted whatever the fuck that accent was. You're so tense. Well, they are at a campground. <laughs> Again. A pun that was the, that wasn't any good the first time round. It doesn't even warrant a reaction the second time. <laughs> you know, what, at least he's replying appropriately, regardless of being nervous, and just enjoying it and smiling his answers. With Simeon, that's about all you can really ask for. It's, it's, it's better than the first half of this night for him. Any, anyway. Simeon being weird again and refusing to let go, so the girl has to do the letting go for him. And again, it's definitely a case of she was just like, it's over, and just phased out of his grip. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek transporter sound plays. I've never seen Star Trek. I don't know how the transporters work. I just imagined the sound effect. That makes two of us. 